In September 2015, global leaders agreed on a new set of global development goals, the Sustainable Development Goals, which set ambitious targets for improving health and ending poverty. On the sidelines of the United Nations General Assembly, the Global Health Technologies Coalition asked experts, why is research and development for new health technologies essential in achieving the SDGs? The Sustainable Development Goals um, are a framework or an agenda that the international development community under the leadership of the United Nations has adopted um, that define what are the priorities towards eradicating extreme poverty throughout the world. For us, Sustainable Development Goal 3, which is the health goal, is um, our primary focus. We have agreed upon the Sustainable Development Goals the first time in history that the entire human community have come together to set some targets for the future. Uh, it's amazing. We should celebrate. We have so much to celebrate in global health already. We've, been, we've halved child poverty. We are reducing maternal mortality. We've made huge strides against uh, HIV. And so much of that progress is actually due to investments we've made in science and technology and innovation over the years. And those investments are yielding huge dividends in terms of of uh, the lives uh, saved today. But we know there's so much more to do and if we want to achieve those SDGs, we need to continue to invest in innovation and fill those critical gaps. Health R&D is absolutely critical to the um, Sustainable Development Goals because if we want to achieve the types of dramatic improvements that, that, we are, that we're all looking towards, um, for the year 2030, we're going to need new interventions, and malaria is a very good example. Um, we're going to need drugs that are far simpler to take, drugs that are affordable, drugs that address the problems of resistance that are emerging. We need R&D in health because we just can't achieve the goals with the tools we have right now. If you look at tuberculosis, nine million people become ill with tuberculosis every year. One and a half million people die every year. That's one person every 21 seconds, every day, every 21 seconds. So we need investments in research and development to create vaccines, new drugs, new diagnostics to bring this epidemic to an end. There's a lot of talk about eliminating diseases and, and so forth. Um, for a handful of those neglected tropical diseases, maybe it's possible to do that with, with what we have in hand today. Um, I would say for a huge number of people who are affected by NTDs, um, the answer is just simply not with the current tools that we have. So we've run the numbers and we can do a huge amount by increasing, you know, better health systems, strengthening, better um, capacity building, better um, delivery mechanisms. But w even with all that, and that's a big lift, there are things that um, need to be done. We still don't have the, the vaccines we need for certain horrible diseases. We still don't have um, the w to way to get information c easily and readily. So um, we just have to use more innovative thinking and innovative tools in order to actually um, get the job done. I think the SDGs really offers an opportunity to take innovation to the next level. The Millennium Development Goals set that benchmark, but the SDGs, in order to exceed and to succeed, are going to have to focus on innovation because we've got to address inequality. And inequality is really only going to be addressed when we think about innovation, not just in products, but in service delivery, to really go that last mile and reach the needs of the poorest and most, most vulnerable and most marginalised. Innovation can lead to doing things better. It can also lead to doing things more efficiently. It can also lead to cost savings. All of those are really important. And as we set more ambitious goals for ourselves, as we've done with the Sustainable Development Goal Agenda, um, you know, we need to be looking at how to do things differently. And Health innovation is really critical to moving forward. And that's what it's all about. It's moving forward. We've had successes in the past. We've had failures in the past. Innovations will allow us to continue the successes we've had, overcome obstacles we've had in the past. And health innovations, especially in technologies, will allow us to control diseases, improve health. And I think those are going to be key elements of the entire SDG agenda because we believe that health is a critical part of that.